unveil the incredible journey from a covert spy to the pinnacle of power, Vladimir Putin's astounding rise to presidency. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving deep into the enigmatic rise of Vladimir Putin, the man who has been at the helm of Russia for nearly two decades, transforming the nation into an authoritarian and militaristic superpower. From a humble background as a KGB agent during the Cold War to becoming one of the most powerful figures on the global stage, Putin's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. So without further ado, let's begin. The Chaos After the Soviet Union To truly grasp the roots of Putin's ascendancy, we must travel back to the turbulent post-Soviet era. As the Berlin Wall fell, Putin, at the age of 40, was stationed as an undercover spy in East Germany for the KGB. The dissolution of the Soviet Union resulted in the loss of 2 million square miles of territory, a bitter moment for Putin, who termed it a geopolitical disaster. But this chaos was just the beginning. The new Russian government was forced to privatize around 45,000 state-owned businesses, including energy, mining, and communication companies. This privatization unleashed chaos as the Russian economy plummeted. A handful of powerful oligarchs emerged, gaining control of these enterprises. Simultaneously, the first post-Soviet Russian president, Boris Yeltsin, was deeply unpopular and reliant on these oligarchs for political support. Enter Vladimir Putin. In 1991, he left the KGB and began his political career as the deputy mayor of St. Petersburg. Here, Putin established connections with the rising oligarchs, helping them create monopolies and eliminate competition. Soon, he had a network of powerful allies, many of whom were former KGB officers. Rise to Power In 1991, the year the Soviet Union disintegrated, Putin left his KGB post in East Germany, and his political journey began as the deputy mayor of St. Petersburg. It was in this role that he displayed an early penchant for favoritism, supporting friends and allies in the private sector. He helped them establish monopolies and regulated their competitors, making him a favorite among emerging Russian oligarchs. With the backing of these influential oligarchs, crime bosses, and former KGB comrades, Putin's ascent in the new Russian state was rapid. His rise to power was not just about political acumen, but also the art of building a network of loyalists. In 1999, President Boris Yeltsin appointed Putin, who was still relatively unknown in national politics, as the Prime Minister. Putin's fierce nationalism was driven by his belief that Yeltsin was allowing the United States to exert undue influence over Russia. He also feared NATO's expansion into formerly Soviet territories. The turning point came when violence erupted in Chechnya, a region that had informally seceded from Russia. Putin was quick to blame Chechen separatists for a series of deadly bombings in Russian cities in 1999. His stern and resolute response on national television swayed public opinion, with his approval ratings surging from 2% before the bombings to 45% afterward. Behind the scenes, questions arose about the Moscow bombings, with some suggesting the Russian security services may have been complicit knowing it would galvanize support for a strong leader like Putin. However, these dissenting theories were swiftly quashed by a closed state investigation. Russia launched a devastating war in Chechnya, leaving the capital, Grozny, in ruins and resulting in a tragic loss of lives. Less than a year later, Russia successfully regained control of Chechnya, consolidating Putin's image as a resolute leader. In December 1999, President Yeltsin abruptly resigned, and Putin became the interim president during the tumultuous campaign in Chechnya. He subsequently won the presidential election and embarked on the mission to mold Russia in his vision. Consolidation of Power Vladimir Putin's journey to dominance didn't end with his ascent to the presidency. It marked the beginning of an era defined by his consolidation of power within Russia. This period witnessed a blend of authoritarian governance and strategic maneuvers that allowed Putin to solidify his rule. Putin's rule was marked by patronage and corruption, a way to maintain the support of those who mattered most to his regime. He skillfully maneuvered to suppress the oligarchy, ensuring those who aligned with him were handsomely rewarded, while those who didn't fell victim to political persecution. One of the most glaring examples of Putin's consolidation of power 
was the case of Mikhail Khodorkovsky, once Russia's richest man. Khodorkovsky dared to dabble in opposition politics and faced the wrath of Putin, who sentenced him to 14 years in jail on charges of embezzling oil. This move was seen as a clear vendetta. Through a barrage of state-controlled media, Putin utilized propaganda to further his grip on the nation. One such instance was the fierce campaign against the feminist and gay rights musical group, Pussy Riot. Their performance in a Moscow cathedral led to the imprisonment of its members, demonstrating Putin's zero-tolerance approach to dissent. Putin's third term, which began in 2012, was marked by a deepening of authoritarianism. He tightened his control over civil liberties, signaled that there was no room for dissent in his Russia, and cracked down on political opposition. Putin's Aggressive Foreign Policy Putin's aggressive foreign policy has been a defining feature of his presidency. Not only has he flexed Russia's military muscles, but he's also honed the art of cyber warfare to a level that's shaken the foundations of Western democracies. While Putin's regime has engaged in traditional military interventions, such as sending weapons and fighter planes to support the Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad, it's the realm of cyber warfare where they've truly excelled. Russia's cyber army has been involved in an array of activities, from stealing classified US information to hacking into politicians' email accounts. Their most notorious operation, perhaps, was the temporary shutdown of Georgia's internet while Russian troops invaded in 2008. In 2016, Russian hackers targeted the heart of American democracy by interfering in the US presidential election. This covert campaign aimed to sow discord, exploit existing divides, and potentially sway the election outcome. These cyber attacks sent shockwaves through the Western world, raising questions about the security of democratic processes. But Putin's influence doesn't stop at US borders. Russian hackers have launched propaganda campaigns in support of right-wing candidates across Europe, hoping to deepen political divisions and foster a more Russia-friendly sentiment. In 2014, Putin's expansionist vision took aim at Ukraine, another former Soviet country. Fearing Ukraine's pro-Western trajectory, Russian hackers initiated a propaganda campaign to stoke protests in the pro-Russian eastern regions. Disguised Russian troops entered the fray, and the annexation of Crimea followed. As of 2017, the conflict in eastern Ukraine had claimed over 9,000 lives, leading to widespread international condemnation. Yet, Putin remained steadfast, advancing his vision of a resurgent Russia, even if it came at the cost of diplomatic isolation and economic hardship. Vladimir Putin's foreign policy has fundamentally reshaped Russia's role on the world stage, posing challenges to established global norms and power structures. Vladimir Putin's journey from a KGB spy in East Germany to the president of Russia is a complex tale of power, influence, and manipulation. His impact on both his country and the world cannot be overstated. As the future unfolds, the world watches closely, wondering what Putin's next move will be and how it will shape the global landscape. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Thanks for watching and we will see you in our next video.